Uh, good afternoon. It's a beautiful day here in Nashville. It's currently uh, 85 degrees out, partly cloudy. Uh, and it's uh, Memorial Day weekend. I'm doing this inside because it's a little bit easier to see. <clears throat> Give me. Uh, I just want to talk about what this weekend and what tomorrow especially is all about. Even before we were attacked by the COVID cooties, as I like to call them, uh, Memorial Day has a special meaning. You know, every year on Facebook, you will see someone ask, what is the difference between Veterans Day and Memorial Day? Well, Memorial Day is for those of us who have served, who are still living. Uh, we have served our country and did what we thought was right. Uh, they have, or I should say we have, uh, served in our own capacity. Some have seen combat, some haven't, but that doesn't diminish that we have served to the best of our abilities. Memorial Day, on the other hand, I don't really call it a holiday. I call it more of a commemoration because this is a day of remembrance for those who have served our country and died during the service of our country. They have put our country's needs ahead of their own. And that's what this day is about, this weekend is about. Uh, now I have my own little pet peeve in concern with this day. And people know me well-meaning, and, you know, they'll say, well, Happy Memorial Day. Which, to me, is an oxymoron. It's a day of remembrance, a day of commemoration. It's not about what people have turned it into, this whole three-day weekend thing. And that is, you know, it's Memorial Day weekend sales and barbecues and picnics and all this other good stuff. Now, I'm not saying you can't enjoy those things. But at some point during the day, you have to take time to reflect on the importance of this day and what it's really about. People have sacrificed their lives for the greater good of our country. We would not be enjoying the freedoms and liberties that we have here. You know, I still think it's the greatest country in the world. Now, that is why it's important to think back to all those people who have put their lives on the line. Now, right now, you people are going to be, you know, trying to include the first responders and all that, but that's not what this day is about. Sure, yes, they have paid to sacrifice. Well, it's not what Memorial Day is about. Memorial Day is about those people who have stood up against oppression so we could have the lives that we have now. Now, I'm not going to go into any politics. That could be another video another time. 
But I just think it's important to take the time at some point this week, weekend, especially tomorrow, and sit back and thank the Lord for those men and women who have paid the ultimate sacrifice for us. Just like someone else who had paid the ultimate sacrifice, which was the Lord Jesus Christ, who was crucified and rose again. I mean, today is Ascension Sunday, which is the day when Christ ascended back up into heaven. But getting back on topic, um, like I said, you need to take a few moments and thank those people who have gave their lives, especially for those who, excuse me, had a little itch here, uh, especially those people, if you've got people in your family who have served in the past and they're in a place where you can go visit your remains, I would do that. And just take a few moments and even if it's silently, just show your thanks, show your appreciation. Uh, we got a lot going on right now in the world and with all this craziness they're trying to dictate how we live. People have, for years, on more than weekend groups and Boy Scouts especially have gone out every year and put flags on the headstones of veterans. And I heard in some areas now they're not letting you do that because of the COVID cooties. Uh, If you can do this in a safe manner and you know of people, not just your loved ones who had died for the service of your country, I think it's only appropriate to pay your respects and put a flag by their headstone. So that's all I really have to say, and uh, just really try to remember what this weekend and what Memorial Day is really about. Uh, if you see a veteran to, during this weekend, don't thank them for the service. It's not about them. It's about the people who have already paid the price. 